in C Tampa Bay continues. Welcome back. For nearly 50 years, Mel's Hot Dogs has been serving up tasty Chicago-style franks in North Tampa. That's right. Located next to Bush Gardens, this local staple can make a hot dog pretty much any way you like it. My name is Mel Lone. My beautiful blushing bride, Virginia, and I are the owners of Mel's Hot Dogs. We've been around since before the beginning of time, or so it seems, serving world-class weenies, or as I prefer to say, the weenie the world awaited, and you need to come and get one. So, a little secret. The name of the place is Mel's Hot Dogs. If they were coming here for the first time, I would recommend that they have a hot dog. I think my food is ready. We're going to put this on pause. Don't move. Coming through, make way. So this is my Chicago dog. This is my hometown special. It is an all beef, kosher style, natural casing hot dog made by the Vienna Beef Manufacturing Company in Chicago. Served on a Rosen bun, which comes out of Chicago. Suburban Chicago, but nonetheless Chicago. It has mustard, onions, relish, pickles, tomatoes, celery salt, and hot sport peppers. The relish is special. It's that green stuff, neon green. The onions are sweet Spanish onions, vine ripened tomatoes, and some grade A, excellent fancy Idaho rest potatoes that are begging me to bite it. Gone. Zach, Zacharama, is eating a chili dog. Our special chili, some real cheddar cheese, and diced up sweet Spanish onions. Our amazing onion rings. These are awesome onion rings. See, the reality is we've probably got a dozen hot dogs on the menu. But we have the secret menu, as we like to call it. What you want, we'll do. Different people do some really strange things. I mean, we have a customer that puts mayonnaise and ketchup on a hot dog. Two bows or no-nos for me. But if it makes you happy, what do I care? I mean, the concept of putting ketchup and or mayonnaise on a hot dog is vulgar. But they got money. Hey, call, we had a cop that worked for the sheriff's office. And he would call up and he'd say, put it in a deep fryer. It was like a, a beef jerky. And then he would put some weird stuff on it. And, and we would say, sure. We are located at 4136 East Bush Boulevard, right next door to Bush Gardens. I always thought it was amazingly intelligent of them to build their park next to Mel's Hot Dogs. We're coming up on our 49th anniversary, 48th, I don't know, some big number, but close to 50 years. I mean, once it gets past 17, 18, I run out of fingers and toes, so I got a problem. It's never been a job for me. It's just a playground. It's just something to get me out of my house and very cool. I make money doing it. So it's never been a job. It's really never been a job. All right, Oscar Mayer, move to the side. There's a better Wienermobile in town. We're talking about Mel's Hot Dogs. That's been serving up hot dogs in Tampa since 1973. How we doing? Good. Shut up and eat. Mel the hot dog man is love one him. character. I will tell you that. <laughs> I love him. I'm so glad you were able to spend time with him. I don't know right. really what you enjoy more, the hot dogs or just being able to talk to Mel. Yeah, that's right. I might as well just go there and sit down and have another conversation with the guy. You know? should have Mel join us. Yes, let's there have him go. in the studio, shall Sounds we? like a good plan. <laughs> and now to the drone zone. Yes. Today we're exploring the beautiful waters of Anclo Key State Park. Located just three miles off the coast of Tarpon Springs, you can find one of Florida's most remote state parks. Now, enjoy the beautiful green blue waters of the Gulf of Mexico. And I have to say, this is only reachable by private boat or ferry service. So you got to go down to Tarpon Springs, catch the ferry and make your way over to Anclo Key. Oh. oh, so stunning. I love the views and this is what Florida is all about. We have so many beautiful places that we could check out here and that's just a fun part of the job. Well, there we go. I think that's why we know what we are doing here on Taste and See Tampa Bay. Hopefully you will join us next Friday, 1030. In the meantime, have a wonderful weekend. And for those of you who celebrate, happy Easter as well. Happy Easter, everyone.